This video will cover the topic, signed fraction subtraction involving double negation. In these types of problems, you're given an expression containing two fractions with different denominators. Let's take a look at the problem we will be working through. We are given negative 1 sixth minus negative 7 over 4. Here we can see that the denominators of our fractions are different. This means that in order to perform addition or subtraction, we must find the least common denominator. What is the least common denominator? Great question. The least common denominator is the lowest common multiple of the denominators of several fractions. This means that we are looking for the lowest multiple that the denominators of our fractions have in common. Let's take a look at the multiples of each of our denominators. The multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, and so on. The multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on. Looking at the multiples of our denominators, what could our least common denominator be? Well, the lowest multiple that each of our denominators have in common is 12. So 12 would be our least common denominator, right? That's exactly right. Now that we know what our least common denominator is, we must make the denominators of both of our fractions equal to our least common denominator of 12. What would we need to multiply our first fraction's denominator by to get our desired value of 12? The denominator of our first fraction is 6, so we would multiply by 2 to get the result of 12. Great job. We cannot simply multiply the denominator by 2, however, as this would change the value of our expression. Instead, so that we are not changing the value of the expression, we must multiply by 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. Because any number times 1 is unchanged, we are not changing the value of our expression. 2 over 2 times negative 1 over 6 is equal to negative 2 over 12. In the same way, we must also multiply the denominator of our second fraction to equal 12. The denominator of our second fraction is 4, so we must multiply by 3 over 3. Negative 7 over 4 times 3 over 3 is equal to negative 21 over 12. Now our expression is negative 2 over 12 minus a negative 21 over 12. At this point, we now have a common denominator and we are almost ready to perform our subtraction. Anytime we are multiplying or dividing a negative by a negative or subtracting a negative, the negatives cancel and we are left with a positive. Given this information, is there any spot where we can cancel some negative signs? In the second half of our expression, we are subtracting negative 21 over 12. Could we cancel here? Yes. Subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive, so we can rewrite our expression as negative 2 over 12 plus a positive 21 over 12. Now all that is left is a little bit of addition. A negative 2 over 12 plus a positive 21 over 12 is equal to 19 over 12. This means that our final answer is 19 over 12. Okay, so in order to perform sine fraction subtraction, I must begin by finding the least common denominator. Once I know the least common denominator is, I must multiply both fractions by a fraction equal to 1 to obtain the common denominator. Finally, I cancel negatives where I can and perform subtraction. Then I have my final answer. That's right. Great work.